Liu Kang, Raiden, Sub Zero, Scorpion, Katana, Goro, El Gordo. Oh, what the? Uh, hello Mortal Kombat fans, my name is Chris, it is a great day here today because we have some new Mortal Kombat footage to dive into here. What I'm going to be doing here for you guys is not only showing you the new bits of Mortal Kombat footage because we have four TV spots right here, each one with some new stuff in it. We're also going to be diving deeper into the lore of Mortal Kombat, checking out what might be happening in here because we see a very different Cole Young than we've been seeing in different Mortal Kombat trailers, as well as our thoughts and theories and asking the ultimate question, where the heck is Johnny Cage. So be sure you guys leave your opinions down below with everything we discussed here today. What did you think of this new footage? Which has been your favorite TV spot? And what are your thoughts and theories to what exactly is going down in this movie? So like I was saying, there's been four TV spots that have been released for the Mortal Kombat movie. I don't know if these are official because I found these on some janky danky movie YouTube site. I mean, it's official footage from the movie, but I don't think it's been officially released by Warner Brothers yet. Probably just somebody who recorded it off their TV and put it online. Either way, let's go ahead and play the first one and then dive into what we see here listen carefully watch learn mortal combat has begun there's a war coming we need to fight before it's too late get over here Alright, so jumping into the first TV spot of the four that we have to show you guys. First thing I notice here is we get this shot that we've been getting all throughout the trailers of the Earth Realm fighters who are teaming up with Raiden to go be part of the Mortal Kombat tournament. You have Cole Young, Sonya Blade, Liu Kang, and Kano. I know a lot of people are very confused about why Kano would be part of the Earth Realm team, especially since he's been a villain in the games before. But I mean, it's pretty obvious, guys. He just has to team up with them for the sake of the world because that's where he lives. But even moving further a little bit in this footage, we can see it's not too long on their journey that Kano goes AWOL and leaves them because right here we only see three of those fighters continue to stay together. Sonya Blade, Liu Kang, and Cole Young. So it looks like Kano will definitely be persuaded by Shang Tsung to join his side of the team. I mean, even other bits here we get to see what looks like Kano shooting his beams directly at Kung Lao. I do like how we get an extended look of Sub-Zero turning rain into ice and throwing it off to someone. This is just such a cool effect and the fact that they're using his powers this way only is going to make this movie that much more better. That seems to be the only new footage from this TV spot, so let's move on to the second one and what we can dive into there. It's all real. A dragon marking? It's an invitation. It means you've been chosen. For what? Mortal Kombat. We don't have much time. Well, if they want to fight, let's give them one. Mortal Kombat. Who's first? So from the second TV spot, it's a little bit more on the legacy and what that marking means that Cole Young's character has and how he's destined to be part of the Mortal Kombat tournament right here. But we get a new look of his outfit or his powers and abilities that they're going to be giving this brand new character. Don't forget, Cole Young is not from the video games. He was introduced just for this movie and he is our main character. All that we know of him is that he's a talented MMA fighter who has a daughter that he loves with all his life, but he decides to join his tournament because it's his destiny. And I guess we'll just find out more about him. Lots of theories to what is going on. I know in the first trailer, they were really hinting that he was connected to Scorpion. Maybe he's his long lost son. Don't throw me with them ridiculous theories that he's Johnny Cage in disguise personality don't match but from this tv spot it seems pretty obvious that they're going to make cole young his own character by giving him what looks like definitely his own appearance and even his own weapons i gotta admit right now i was not too big of a fan of the cole young introduction and how they were planning to use him but after seeing just this snippet of footage in that armor he's got on that actually looks pretty sweet i like how it's almost skin tight and replicates his muscles almost looking like it's the layer underneath his skin so who's to know if this is actually his ability that he can just make this sort of metal come off of him but if not he's got these other two weapons that yes is definitely giving me baraka vibes but before anyone goes out actually throwing those theories that cole young is gonna be baraka in disguise or is gonna have the secret origin of baraka hold your horses because he is not holding 
two blades that are coming out of his arm. He is holding one blade and the other is more of a plank or just a piece of wood, which just kind of makes things a little more interesting for me because this definitely seems like a unique character design of something that we haven't seen already in the Mortal Kombat world. Using one hand as the weapon to cut and the other hand to block items, which is why it's just that plank of wood. I'm going to be really curious to see then what legacy he is connected to because it definitely seems like that's where they're headed with this Cole Young character, that his heritage, that his genetics is somehow connected to a famous Mortal Kombat fighter and he just somehow unlocks that ability unless this is just weapons and armor that Raiden provided him because he's just a regular dude and he needs to survive in this tournament somehow. Also, you know when they bring in Johnny Cage, I don't want just two other regular dudes on the Earth Realm team. Cole Young now has definitely something to separate himself so Johnny Cage just can come in with his glasses, tattoo, and shirtless body saying the funny things he says. Other bits of new footage here is we have Sonya Blade versus Melina being that Sonya Blade is a good guy in this movie. I can pretty much bet who's going to be making it out of this battle right here, but I still hope Melina puts up a really good fight. The other jaw-dropping part of this trailer that only happens for a split second and you miss it if you blink is this secret character lurking in the background that almost moves like a shadow that Sonya Blade shoots at, but if you pause it at the right moment, you can make out the face and mouth of what seems to be a reptile being or some sort of alligator looking creature. This is definitely the person that was lurking in the first Mortal Kombat trailer that was kind of blending in into its environment. Now a lot of Mortal Kombat fans are already screaming this is obviously the character of Reptile but seeing how he looks later on in those trailers I really don't want to believe that they messed up the Reptile design that bad. Of course it looks kind of creepy and cool but it's just not what I imagined the Reptile character to look like and they have been just so accurate and faithful to all the other costume designs it would be really weird that this is how they decided to make the Reptile fighter look. So I'm hoping this is some sort sort of parademon or just minion type situation that Shang Tsung has lurking around to keep an eye on the Earth Realm fighters and see what they're doing. Because yes, while the invisible thing is reptile, this thing is kind of moving through smoke across the air, which then is this the character of smoke? Or it could be a combination of two. Really curious to see what you guys think this secret fighter is. And as the ending of this little teaser, we get to see the hands of Goro coming out. It's going to be a great battle to see. And he's facing off Cole Young, the main character of this movie. So Goro ain't going to be lasting long in this movie either, but I am curious to see how Cole Young, an um, MMA fighter, can match up with this dude with four freaking hands. Let's move on to the next TV spot, though. Throughout history, different cultures reference a great tournament, Mortal Kombat. His name's Jax. Sonya. Liu Kang. Kung Lao. Scorpion. I am Sub-Zero. Now there wasn't really a lot in this TV spot to digest from from things we've already seen. One thing I do love is how the characters are saying their names right here. Like Scorpion says his own name. Even Sub-Zero as well. That's pretty awesome. The fight between Kano and Kung Lao. Melina getting out her weapons. And then a glimpse of what that Cole Young and Goro fight is going to be looking like right here. Using his blade but keeping the protective plank on the other side. Gotta say I really am liking this. And now I'm curious to see if they'll put this character into the actual Mortal Kombat bad games it's all real that dragon marking it's an invitation it means you've been chosen for what mortal combat we don't have much time well if they want to fight let's give them one mortal combat who's first for the final TV spot here, there really is only one other money shot, and that is the look of Melina leading off Cabal, and I'm sorry, my Mortal Kombat lore is not 100%, so... I don't know who this guy is. You more hardcore Mortal Kombat fans are going to have to give me your best guess to who this character is because because I went through the roster and I could not find a match of who this guy might be. Still, focusing on Cabal because I do know who that guy is. He is looking mighty awesome. It sucks that it looks like they're going to get rid of him in the movie as well because he's going to fight Liu Kang and go up against his fire dragon. But this is what I meant by the character designs have just been so faithful and well done that that's why I don't believe they would mess up Reptile that bad when they made Cabal 
all look this awesome. I hope we get to see at least one fight where Cabal comes out victorious, wins, and then he can fight Liu Kang. But as far as these TV spots go, man, it still leaves us with the question of where the hell is Johnny Cage? I've been saying it. I don't think Johnny Cage is showing up in this movie at all. If he does, it'll be in the post or after credit scene. Even then, I don't think they'll actually show his face. It might be a situation where it's like his shadow comes into play or the characters might be like, oh, we won the tournament. You guys want to go watch a movie starring Johnny Cage? The main reason I think they didn't bring in Johnny Cage for this Mortal Kombat movie is because I think they have their eyes on an actual celebrity to portray Johnny Cage, someone like a Chris Pratt or a Ryan Reynolds, somebody that has a lot of personality that can really give off that goofy, funny Johnny Cage vibe because he is my favorite character and that's definitely what you need to do for Johnny Cage. And, and knowing that this film has that lower budget, I just don't think they had the money to spend on a celebrity like that. But if this film is a success, which I hope it is, guys, watch it on HBO max or if you're feeling safe enough see it in theater so it can really get that cheddar really curious to hear what you guys think of these tv spots who would you want to play johnny cage which has been your favorite scene what are your thoughts and theories on some of these mysterious characters and about cole young's new powers and looks anything and everything be sure to like and subscribe follow me on twitter at 3c film review as always i'm chris take care